um, horses that kind of shoulder into the second barrel. And I'm going to talk to you about one of the exercises I use to help fix that problem and keep my horses going straight. And one of the problems that people do is either, number one, they let their horse set too soon before the barrel and it starts a habit, or sometimes horses automatically start turning too soon before the barrel and what ends up happening is, is their hip comes out of the turn and then their front end is pointed at the barrel. I'm kind of over exaggerating this for you. And then when they're turning, their head's almost to the outside of the turn their shoulder and their rib cage is dropped. A lot of people will try and fix that problem by coming up to this barrel and picking their shoulder up and moving them away. And that's fine, but there's horses out there too that sometimes when you go to pick their shoulder and rib cage up, you can't get it because they're still leaning on you. Um, and when you go faster, and you try and pick your horse's shoulder up and rib cage up, the horse just braces on you and you can't even get it. So, one of the ways that I try and fix this problem is I go, of course, to a snaffle and I will start this at the walk, trot, and lope, and then I'll go faster. So when I come up to this barrel, I'll walk all the way up to the side of this barrel. And when I get here, the first, my first response is I'm going to pull this horse's head to the inside. And what this does is it picks up this shoulder and rib cage where he can't fall and take it away. He can't take his neck away. So if I need to grab him with my rein and he still is not coming, then I'm going to use my leg also to get him to come and bend his head. So this is an exercise I will do to help teach them to pick up. So I'll back up. When I come up to this barrel,
I do it up far enough because I don't want to get the horse thinking that he's got to turn before the barrel. Um, that's not what I'm asking him to do. So if I'm doing it too far back, he might think that I want him to turn back here. I don't. I want him to stay all the way up into this pocket because that's what he's not doing. He's not driving all the way up into this pocket before he turns. So if the horse tries to slow down and quit, I will punch him forward because I want to do it in that spot. So. so if I come across here, my horse is going to start slowing down here, then I want to punch him forward and get him up there and turn his head. I don't want him to quit too soon.